Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. In this video today, I am going to be showing you guys how I personally take notes for computer science classes, along with how you guys can take notes and choose a note-taking system that works best for you. First up, we will be talking about the best methods to take notes for comp sci. By all means, there is not a single and a straightforward way of taking notes. We have multiple ways, and there is no problem in combining these methods to suit your habits of studying. So first, we have the Cornell note-taking. Next, we have the Feynman technique. Third, we have the title on the bullet note taking. Fourth, we'll be talking about online note taking. I won't be getting into the gist of each individual note taking methods. Although, I like one way of note taking, which is using online programs such as OneNote, Google Docs, or Notion. I will leave links to some of my personal favorites of note taking videos for the options mentioned before. Personally, I like taking notes online on Notion. So I'll be going over how I take notes on Notion and we'll leave a free template for you guys so that you guys can use it as well. I tried using multiple options for note taking, which not most of them were successful in terms of my understanding of a scale or a concept. When I was taking computer science notes by hand, I could write down all the important bullets down, but it was hard for me to write down the code. And then I tried options like Google Docs and OneNote, but the same difficulty appeared where I was able to write down all the bullets. And I was also able to write code this time, but I wanted to write it somewhere where I could put the important notes along with the place where I could insert the code segments, where the code would actually compile. I found that the Notion was the best option for me in terms of inserting my code along with all the writing of the important bullet points. So that is the reason why I decided to go for Notion as my online note-taking system. Now let's get into how I organize my notes with Notion. First up, I like to open up an empty page in the table. Once I have opened up my page, I like to insert the title and an icon to make things a bit more fun. And then I'll scroll down to my level of understanding and will put in the tag for my understanding of the certain unit. Then. I go over to my source of where I'm learning the certain concept from. And finally, my status of where I'm at in terms of finishing my notes. Once I have completed all of the intro and the details about, I like to put in the header of the topic that I'm learning and beneath it, notes. Now let's get into how I take notes. For all the important terms and vocabulary that might be in a concept, I always like using the toggle option, where you close and open the information when you need it. In this case, it won't interrupt the rest of the information. Next, I like to write in some important information. Note that when typing out notes word by word from your text is not necessarily the best option for learning because it shows that you're just copying and not necessarily learning. So in order to avoid falling into this trap, I always recommend summarizing a certain section or bullet point from your text. Next up, code. Whenever you have a code segment that you think might be important and is beneficial for your learning, I would definitely recommend coding it using the code option. On Notion, you can insert a code by going over to the plus sign to the left, scrolling all the way down over to media, and then choosing the fourth option on the list, code. This is probably my favorite part of taking notes on Notion. When I type a code segment in, I always want to learn the proper format of a piece of code. Once I have typed in that certain format, right beneath it, I'll type in an example of that format so that I know what is going on. So that is it for the basics of note taking for computer science. For some extras if you'd like, you could also insert Google Drive Media, use GitHub Gist, upload PDFs, use CodePen, and more options to get the best out of your learning experience. So that is it for the video, you guys, today. Thank you so much for watching and subscribe for more content on computer science. Until then, see you guys next time.